Welcome, UCL fans, to our Season 2 Week 9 preview for the United Championship League. I'm your host, Antel Fanatic 64 and we're here to sit down and take a look at the matchups that will be taking place tomorrow, September 10th. If you do enjoy this video, I hope you leave it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the play in the comments section below uh, who you're rooting for to make the playoffs. Some teams are all but guaranteed a spot in the playoffs right now, and other teams are still in a have a real big fighting chance for it. So, let's go ahead. We're going to take a look at our first matchup. We have the Bristol City Blazikins, four and four, taking on the South Beach Slow Kings, uh, who are two and six. Um, probably a little bit more favoritism towards the Bristol City Blazikins, however. Uh, their pattern has still continued where they won one week and lost the next week. Uh, so for this one, they would technically lose this week. Uh, but based upon who uh, their opponents are with it, I think that they have a more favorable matchup for it. But, of course, we'll just have to wait and see how everything actually will go down for it. Uh, moving on now to our second matchup. We have the Tucson Terrakions, 5-3, and three, taking on the Philadelphia for Alligators, who are 2-6. and six. Um... Definitely a must-win situation for the Tucson Terrakions to still have hopes of making it to the playoffs. Uh, of course, Philadelphia for Alligators are just here having fun now at this point. Uh, but it's definitely going to be a really good matchup, I believe, for it. Obviously, uh, Philadelphia for Alligators on paper might not have the best team without them having a Mega on it. But they might not even need it this week. We'll just have to wait and see how it goes. Um, but it is a must-win situation for the Tucson Terrakions to, to at least still have playoff hopes in their dreams. Um, third matchup, we have the Carolina Keldios and the uh, Long Island Reggie Rockies. 6-2 uh, and two and 2-6 two and six for the teams, as you can see. Uh, Carolina Keldios kind of in a must-win situation. Um, I discussed this during the um, during the review for last week, uh, for the week 8, which Carolina Keldios have been doing really well as of late, definitely better than they did last season on it, and are currently ranked fourth, or in fourth place due to their record being, you know, fourth best record in the league for it, um, but they still have to face up against some of the heavy hitters in the upcoming weeks. So, um, definitely, even though they're, like, you know, in fourth place, and if this was the last week, they would, you know, almost guarantee themselves a spot, um, it's still a must-win situation for the Carolina Keldios. They cannot let any matchups, uh, you know, they can't lose any matchups if they want to still have a chance to maintain that fourth-place spot. So, um, definitely a must-win, but Long Island Reggie Rockies definitely going to give them, you know, hard work for it. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see what ends up happening this week. Uh, fourth matchup, we have the Newcastle Nido Kings taking on the Tulsa Town Flames. Uh, so, three and five. For the Newcastle Nido Kings, one and seven for Tulsa Town Flames. Uh, definitely will be an interesting matchup. You know, Newcastle has kind of fallen on hard times this season. Uh, last season, of course, was like the comeback story after losing the first two weeks and then winning almost, and then winning the next. What was it like? I think eleven or twelve matches straight before losing in the final week. Uh, Tulsa Town Flames uh, kind of not, you know, been on a good roll that they were on last year. I think during this time last season they were at least even at, you know, four and four. Maybe they were five and three. I forget which it was for it, um, but they were definitely playing better than they were this season for it. Um, best of luck to them for both teams on it. Um, just to try and get themselves to be a little bit, you know, better ranking for it. Uh, but we'll just have to wait and see how these two teams it's kind of, you know, toss up on who you think might win for it. Um, so I'm not even going to try and call that one. Uh, fifth matchup, we have the Real Maril, 7-1, taking on the Grand Canyon Greninjas, who are 1-7. and seven. So, Real Maril, number one ranked team right now, or tied for number one ranked team. If you want to look at the UCL, as a three-way tie for it, uh, just based upon the records alone, since they don't use any differentials. Uh, Grand Canyon Greninjas, bottom of the barrel, 1-7, um, you know, could potentially still pull out a win, but... Due to the play style that they have been using this season, very unlikely to actually happen, uh, which is sad to say for it. But uh, will definitely be a good matchup nonetheless for it. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. I know the you know Charizard X will put in work for the Grand Canyon Greninjas against the Real Marils team if it can be utilized properly for it. So chances are uh, Real Marils is going to be taking uh, the favoritism to win this matchup for it. Uh, moving on to our sixth match, we have the Toronto Tokikis and the St. Louis Rampardos. Um, St. Louis Rampardos fighting for their playoff lives right now. In another situation like the Tucson's Rackings earlier, 
cannot lose a match uh, the rest of the season if they want to really maintain uh, hope for making it into the playoffs. Now, um, St. Louis Rampartos, of course, were... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, still trying to clean over my cold. All right. Um, St. Louis Rampartos last season uh, were the top-ranked team. You know, they went 14-1 and one this season. have really fallen on hard times, only being 5-3. Um, they want to make it back to the playoffs. They want to even make it to the championship again. But they have a lot of work ahead of them still. Tucson Tracheon, uh, not Tucson Tracheon's in a similar boat. I think there's one other team in a very similar boat as well, which I think is in our next matchup. But St. Louis Rampartos must win, but they have to go up against the Hacks God, Toronto took the kiss, which if last week proved anything, um, that he does live up to his name, getting, you know, you know, having missed, you know, having Sacred, or you know, was it Sacred Fire miss on him uh, to get an EQ off to actually defeat um, Ente to getting an Ice Punch off and actually freezing Mega Altario, guaranteeing their win that way for it. Um, you know, considering Ice Punch only has a 10% chance to freeze and they manage to get the freeze on it, I mean, he does live up to that Hacks God mentality. So, uh, if he brings the Hacks with him again this week, um, there's a good chance he could potentially win, uh, and which would be devastating for the St. Louis Rampartos, but we'll just have to wait and see how they actually will play it out for it. Um, seventh matchup was, yeah, the Pittsburgh Peachus 5-3, and three, taking on the Manchester Magnazones 3-5. and five. Uh, Manchester Magnazones have been really impressive this season, at least compared to Season 1, where they lost all 15 matchups. Um, have done really well and defeated some of the top teams out there, or has at least put in, you know, a lot of work against them. Uh, for instance, when they took on, again, the biggest, ups, you know, biggest moment of the season was the Manchester Magnazone 6 0 ing the uh, St. Louis Rampartos. It was definitely, you know, one that I know I wasn't expecting for, but it was very shocking. Um, Pittsburgh Pichus, hopefully, you know, Coach Nexus doesn't fall asleep and, you know, unable to actually miss the matchup because that was um, fortunate last week where he had to forfeit his match because he could not get up in time to actually have the battle and they waited until the last possible moments just due to scheduling conflicts between the two teams. Um, Manchester Magnazones um, could do with some good work on this, uh, but the Pittsburgh Peachus are definitely a scary team. Uh, a lot of coaches will go to Num Nexus for help with team building, so we know that he knows how to build good teams for it. Um, We'll just have to wait and see. Again, Pittsburgh Pichus, just like the St. Louis Rampartos and the Tucson Terraculans, in a must-win situation. So cannot lose any more matches. If they really, or at least uh, they want to have a chance at making playoffs this season, uh, have to continue on a winning way for it. Moving on to the hype match of the week, which hopefully will take place this week, uh, is going to be between um, the Durham Drudigans and the Bronx Bear Kicks. Durham Drudigans. Um, have really impressed so far. The only team so far to defeat Miguel and the Real Maril. Uh, otherwise, they might have gone completely undefeated for the season because they have done. Uh, they've beaten everyone else. Of course, they played at a time that was more beneficial for the Durham Drudigans, uh, being like 1 a.m. Uh, for Miguel's time. Um, so he just made sloppy plays because of that. So he's being super tired, being too late. So he's never doing that again. He's learned. Um, but this will definitely be a good matchup, nonetheless. Uh, Durham Drody Guns, Bronze Bear Takes, super, super good teams. Um, going to be very interesting to see how they actually will play out, and then this will knock down uh, one of the teams out of first place, basically. Because in the way the UCL works, they just go by the records for it. They don't go by differentials. Um, so Durham Drody Guns, Bronze Bear Takes, Real Muriel, currently all tied for first place. If you look at it from a differential standpoint, Bronze Bear Takes are tied with the Real Muriel, um for first place, Durham Drone Guns are in third place. Uh, again, that's just due to any type of differential, but otherwise they are all completely tied. So this is going to narrow it down uh, to where there only be two, two potentially two teams who will be seven and or rather eight and one at the end of this week. Um, for all we know, the Real Maril could potentially lose their matchup, and then we'll have a definitive first place person at the end of this. But that's going to go ahead and do it for our review, or I'm sorry, preview for the matchups that are taking place tomorrow, as I said. Uh, we'll be back on Tuesday with our review and rankings for the United Championship League as well. If you do 
want to see that, make sure you subscribe so you know when that goes up. And then don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter to know when these videos go up, as well as follow the UCL so you keep up to date on all the latest news and information. But other than that, thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget, leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy. Uh, but I will see you all next time. Take care and goodbye.